Hey, well, I'm I'm uh, just newly appointed principal of Phoenix Integrated Primary School in, in Cookstown, and it's been a big culture shock stepping out of the classroom and into another area. I miss the timetable, I miss the classroom and everything, but I want to talk to you a wee bit tonight about a piece of work I did with when I was based at the Northeastern Board. It was in conjunction with the Department of Education, and I'm going to share with you the, the beginning part of that journey because it's now about a year down the line and it, and it has developed quite a lot since then. It's a little known resource, I'm not sure if anybody knows it's out there. I'm sure you have heard of every school of good school, the school improvement policy has been shut down or approved for so many years, but now we're actually starting to see it unfold and what it actually looks like in terms of improvement outcomes for children. So this is really just to let you know of this resource that's out there, it's on the web, it's called everyschoolagoodschool.television and they've now amalgamated with the Northeastern Board TV, so if you search for NELB.TV or eSides.TV you'll come up with this resource. And pretty much what it is, <coughs> about ESAG's TV. It reflects outstanding and very good practice in schools that have been identified by the ETA. Now, I know we don't like that word inspection. We don't like to have the inspectors into our school, but I, I really see the inspectors as, as quality assurance in the work that we're doing. And they're really moving with the curriculum now and we're trying to evolve in that role. They're not coming in, you know, pointing the big finger to say that we're not doing things right. It's really in a supportive role and trying to promote self evaluation from within. It's really encouraging schools to look at their own practice, where they are and where they would like to go with that help and support along the line. Okay? So four key areas, as you know, four key areas are a good school, a child centred learning effective leadership. So why bother looking on the website? Well, really what we've done is when we started up the website and um, we started to work with schools who had just been newly inspected, we made contact with them, we went to visit them and we used the inspection report to try and identify areas that we would like to showcase the good practice from other schools. So you may be in school and you're thinking, effective use of data, how do schools start to do that? How does it roll out? Well, we went in and made a three to six minute program that showcased that. It could be something to do with developing thinking schools, it could be the use of extended schools, it could be anything. And there's a resource of these programs on the website. So it helps us to disseminate, to share good practice, to learn something new. And one more thing. It's all about teaching and it's all about learning and it's about sharing good practice. And I just thought the best way to do it was just to show you the little infomercial that we made. It's on the website that explains what it is. If you go into Eastside TV, you can search within the four key areas of a good school and there'll be loads and loads of programmes that, that uh, fit in across phase and across sector. So we're going to have a wee look. So we can cut it short. A good school to lead. This web based platform aims to showcase what's best in our schools and share ideas and practices. Our children are at the heart of it all. ESAGS TV will explore ways of doing some things differently. It will address barriers, tackle disadvantage, and look at ways of raising standards to help our children reach their full potential. ESAGS is all about teamwork. No one is left out or left behind. It involves pupils, teachers, parents, policymakers, the wider community. ESAGS TV reflects outstanding and very good practice identified in schools by the Education and Training Inspectorate. In a society that is changing rapidly, this new school improvement policy focuses on meeting the needs and aspirations of all pupils through high quality learning with the teacher in pole position. Why do they have rules in the classroom? Amber. So we can turn best. Four key characteristics and matching indicators are in place to help raise standards. Child-centred provision promotes and fosters the school culture of achievement, improvement and ambition. There are clear indicators on equality, diversity, pastoral care and child protection. High quality teaching and learning speaks for itself. Teachers embrace flexible teaching strategies that deliver results 
and can be measured against the performance of similar schools. Effective leadership involves realistic targets for improvement based on a sound vision for the school. Buy-in from governors and school leaders involves a readiness to share and learn from best practice. A school connected to its local community has colossal benefits. School, teachers and the community forge closer bonds. Respect increases and with it a greater willingness to actively support the work of the school. Beyond the immediate community, good relationships are fostered with the education agencies that support the school, as well as other statutory and voluntary agencies. Every school a good school is an exciting opportunity, a chance to change the way things are done. Whatever the school, nursery, primary, post-primary or special, ESACs can deliver tangible benefits. Whether you're starting out on a teaching career or a principal, you'll find something for you on ESAGS TV. If you want to hear about innovation in schools, new approaches to teaching, learning, training, leadership, partnerships, and hear it directly from the schools themselves, then log on to ESAGS TV. ESAGS TV, showing what's best to help others to be the best. So anyway, I hope that gives you a wee bit of an insight. Check it out. Some of the programs are really good, and actually, I had a wonderful experience. And anybody who's worked outside school will tell you that some of the best things you can do is to get into other schools and see how they do and talk to other people. And I was inspired by a lot of the practice that we saw out there. So we are doing a great job. We are the people that we've been waiting for, and we are the people that need to start changing. Okay, so thank you very much.